So what we did today is we've been studying the moon and we're working, our big project is working on a lunar base. So what we did today was practice landing on the moon and to have a rover that would land on the moon as well. So they built and constructed a rover and put it in their lander and so they had to land that without harming any of the astronauts, which were eggs on board. Um, we have our lander here, try, we have balloons trying to help with some sort of a parachute. Yeah, and then our rover is like inside the tissue paper. So yeah. Which we're not very confident in, yeah. but we'll see how it goes. We are very grateful to partner with Altec for this. One of our students, his father works at Altec, so he graciously offered to come and help us launch. So that just added a little bit of novelty to that as well. This challenge is always interesting to see which ones are going to succeed because it's not always the ones that you necessarily think are going to. It's a plastic bag for a parachute seemed to be really helpful. Yeah. And then, and then shock we absorption. Put, yeah, we put a balloon on the bottom. It disassembled on landing. That's one way to say it. Yeah. Ready? Oh. But are they okay? They are no shatter. It's good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure both of them are alive. Here, let me check. Well, that one's fine. One's alive. And then... Do we have at least one astronaut unscathed? That one is also fine. Yeah. That's we both have of them. two that's astronauts here survived? Yeah. Yay. 200 points! The praying board, Jared. Yep. Are All right, space. so they need the tape measure. I'll give it around 43. Yeah. All right, nice. Jason, how'd yours turn out? Both are cracked. All right, so that's still 50 points, bud. Um, I think that a lot of what drives what we're doing in class right now is from when I got the opportunity to participate in space camp. And so the whole time I was at space camp, they just talked about how NASA's goals right now are to, to get to Mars. And the timeline that they have, I sat there and did the math, and it's gonna be kids that are in school right now that are gonna be the astronauts that make that happen. So I just hope that if I can inspire someone in this classroom to dream bigger, to be one of those people that can go to Mars eventually, I just hope that they'll at least know that they can do things that are bigger than themselves and that are um, a little maybe out of reach, but that they can work towards that and achieve that.